then you know somehow you always become this camera conscious will i be able to do it you know and then there is criticism should i be doing this and i'm married i have a kid why should i be doing it? guys so uh this episode is going to be one of those special episode because the guest on this episode is uh, you know is different from the two guests that i had before in the episode 1 and episode 2 well uh this person is a fantastic content creator i've seen this person's content creation and she is a food vlogger but also she is a mother so you know how this person is you know uh, managing a family her kid and her content creation so that is what we that you know, i have talked to her about this and much more So uh, without wasting any time this is Anish and you're watching the Fit Wonder Stories let's get started So guys today I have with me Muriel Dice Hi How are you I'm good Have you watched my previous episodes Yes I have watched You watched So my first question to you is, uh, what comes in your mind when you hear the word Vasai? Vasai basically is home. Been born and brought up over here since so many years. I rather imagine myself in Vasai than anywhere else on earth. So yeah, I love Vasai. I love the beauty of Vasai. I love living in Vasai. Basically, I agree that point. And if you are in Vasai and you live in Vasai, there is a lot of content creation also in Vasai. Yes, actually, we didn't know that since some time back. But there's a lot of content in Vasai. Actually, there are so many good places to eat. There are so many places to travel. Yeah. Actually, like there are so many hidden gems in Vasai, basically. Which you are going to recommend to the audience today? Yes, definitely. Okay, so uh, what do you do in like professionally? Basically, I'm a lecturer. I've been thirteen years now. Oh wow! And then I've been. Uh, teaching in this diploma engineering college. You you have been teaching since thirteen years, pretty awesome. But now, since you are teaching since thirteen years, and you are a lecturer, you are teaching literature. I teach English. I teach diploma engineering students. So we have English and business communication. Ah, okay. how did i mean like how were like, from from being lecturer to a content creator like a food and a lifestyle blogger yeah. right how how did that happen it was during the lockdown and everyone was just sitting at home and we were doing nothing at all just watching the series so out of the blue i used to initially love cooking and before that so i started posting recipes and I thought I'll review some restaurants also which I had uh, visited earlier. So I just started posting pics and so I started with recipes initially. So I had a lot of time that time. So I did all of that and then um, I got these invitations from restaurants to come and review them. So basically, that's how it all started. A lot of people are have like you know, in the lockdown. New new content creators have yes, been yes. born due to the lockdown thing. Yes, right. So you're one of them. Yes, absolutely. And if lockdown would have happened, then no, then this wouldn't have happened. Perhaps. It thay ne man me ki like kuch karna hai, aisa kuch. No, like you know, usually it is like you go work, you come back, you have a family, you watch TV, you watch series. That's all. No, but right now, what you're doing, right yeah. now, you you do. uh for the vlogging yeah. for reviews you your lifestyle you travel you do everything you must have watched other content creation doing this yes, of course i've been watching them since a very long time paisa thane mann me ki mau bhi karu uh 
I thought about it, but then I never had the time. And then, you know, somehow you always become this camera conscious. Will I be able to do it? You know, and then there is criticism. Should I be doing this? Uh, I mean, I see a lot of young girls doing it. Like, uh, should I be doing it? You know, that was there in my mind. I'm married. I have a kid. Why should I be doing How about it? about before marriage? No, before marriage, uh, the Instagram wasn't much, you know, famous, you can YouTube? say. YouTube was there, but then it wasn't in my mind. In my mind. This came out of the blue when the lockdown happened. No, I don't think. I ever thought about it. So this came out of the mind, like yes, out of the it blue. was out of the blue completely. But you're you're loving this now. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. But you have plans that you want to like do this full time, or are you? I do to... not have any plans of doing it. You're doing this like. Yeah, this is just a hobby that I do it. But what happy. what if this turns out to be a full time in the future? If the I would have to think about it because I cannot commit myself to anything since I have a kid. Unless it's at least 10 or 15 people, I want, want to, to give him time. Please. Okay. So it shouldn't be like... Uh, so right now you're balancing... Things. Yeah, I'm balancing a lot of things. But this is a challenging thing, don't you think? Like Yeah, it's challenging and I'm loving it as well. So, there's no boredom. There's no time for boredom. Like sitting, watching uh, TV serials or something like that. I don't have time for that. So, whenever I have time, I'll shoot something. Or if he's sleeping, I'll uh, shoot something. I'll go cook for him. I'll feed him. And then, now, apart from that, we take him also to the shoot. What's his name? His name is Kian. Hi, Kian. <laughs> so, we take him at times. Sometimes, we have to keep, uh, keep him at home. I have very supportive and co uh, cooperative in-laws. So that is how... I'll come to that point now. <laughs> Before coming to in-laws, when you started doing this, what was your parents' reaction? So basically, my mom and dad, I did not tell them about it. Because, uh, you know, uh, typical Vasaikar attitude. <laughs> I want to say this in our language. Please, you, know? you can go. <laughs> you <want> to... <laughs> So basically, I never told my mom and dad, but my in-laws knew about it and they were very supportive and cooperative about it. Basically, what she said is in, in our Marathi whatever language is key, don't go anywhere and just shoot random videos and just upload it because, you know, your parents or your society judge. That's what she said. Yeah, and then later there were things like, you know, people are coming and telling me, where had you been? Where did you go? What were you eating? So she keeps on telling me now. So basically, I don't give her all the updates. My mom, I don't give her the updates at all, where I'm going, what I'm doing. But she comes to know through a variety of people. Like, I saw your daughter. I saw your daughter there. But is she not proud that or happy that, okay, you know? She, she is very happy about it. Apparently, she didn't know any, she didn't have any idea about it. So apparently, we had gone for, a, uh, we had gone for dinner out. And then uh, they treated us really well. They waved out the bill also. Us, they are like, no, she had been promoting and they spoke really well to us and she was very happy about it after that. Like, okay, okay. That's where you get a good review, good compl compliment from places where you go and yeah. where parents, of course, your parents will be happy about it, right? Yes. This was where you started content creation. Okay, then your parents and then you said your in-laws. Now, you said your in-laws are very supportive. So that is a very, like, out of the two thing that I'm hearing that, you know. Yeah, I just got lucky. And they're like, you do it more and more. I mean, they are supportive about it. They see my videos, they're supportive about it. They don't comment anything negative. Or anything. They're okay with whatever I'm doing. Until I am happy, it's okay. Who is, like, your inspiration, like, for... Or do you have any inspiration or any mentor or someone you have seen, you know, doing this content creation which you're doing, right? I do not have any one in mind. I follow a lot of influencers. I like their content, but then I copy anyone as such. No, not about I... copying, but getting, getting like inspired. Okay. He or she is doing this. Okay. I might not do the same thing, but I'll try to put some my thing in it and then I'll do it. So I had been following this uh, Sara 
uh, who's known as the Indie Zest from very long time. Uh, nowadays, there are many, many actually, lots of even Riti are really good. And we also have Thompson, also a very good influencer from Vasai, basically. And there are many others coming up. There's a wrinkle also. I'm trying to get as much I can from. I have few people in the list, but you know they'll come very very soon. This is the third episode, you know, or episode I engage jaldi. So this is for you. If I ask you, uh, what are the challenges you face while shooting? content like going to places or you know uh, doing research about thing that you're going to do or triplic nai affair you know aise bolna hai or you know just doing your thing because you said you have a kid that now so how that thing happen basically i record or i edit videos only while he's sleeping or if he is out playing somewhere then i get little time at home so i'll record at that time i'll edit the video at that time apart from that uh, challenges there are lots of challenges at times okay like a light is not good for the place when you go to shoot in some places you need good light over there sometimes the food is not good okay but do you remember when did you like which was like you said in in the lockdown you started doing this which was your first video that you uploaded okay mm -hmm. and that went viral uh basically it did not go viral but people of vasai did like it i had uh, posted the serial no, having like a million views or you know something like that on the yeah video. yeah so ha huh, that one i uh, usually casually go shopping to bandra every now and then uh, even when i was a teenager so i know a lot of places over there so there's this shop that i knew earlier also where you know uh, you find good blazers and shrugs and all that so i had gone there and i just casually thought of shooting Okay, so that was the first reel that went viral, and that shopkeeper did not know me, okay, like by face or something. But then, ah, uh, many people went to him, showed that video, like, ah, uh, ये वाला चाहिए, you know, ये वाला शर्ट चाहिए, ये वाला कोट चाहिए. And then he happened to call me. He texted me on Instagram कि मैम आपने जो address डाला है ना वो <laughs> दुकान का नाम गलत है. <laughs> और लोग ना दूसरी जगह पे जाके वो वीडियो दिखा रहे हैं. So can you edit it and put on? You so I'm like okay. So then later he called me like uh, there are many other things. So I made you a brand ambassador of the stuff. Now. now he knows me like really well, and he's like, "Kab aoge? Fir se kab aoge shoot?" And he got a lot of publicity. He's like, "Bahut saare phone aa rahe, bahut saare log aa rahe yahan pe." But what was your reaction? Like, did you expect that? Kabi ha, kabi. Sometimes my 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 video will get a thaw, like you know ten thousand or a thousand. No, I did not think about it, and even while posting, I do not think about it. Are you viral? Jana chahiye or anything? Nothing like that. I just post it out of the. When you saw this, what 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 came? What is your reaction? I was happy about it. Like I just someone is ben. Yeah, yeah, someone is benefiting from it. So it's a good thing. And uh, actually, to be frank, getting a million views is not a big thing. Actually, these days on Instagram, many people get it. If you, uh, if there's something new, if there is something people are looking out for, I think it's not that difficult. But the Instagram algorithm is playing very catchy. Yeah, that's there. I did not find it that catchy. Actually, I sometimes feel that if there is something new in the video, if there's something people haven't seen before, then it goes viral. Or there's some new angle. So you you think it. you are influencing people through your content creation? Yeah. That's why people come to see your videos more. That it means you're influencing something. People to buy something or. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I do get a lot of comments that good you posted this. Uh, we didn't know about it. Uh, thanks for uploading this. I bought this. I really liked it. So you know, I get comments like this. So yeah, it's good in a way. any negative comments or reviews you got first like on your videos you must have got a lot of negative comments at time but did you get demotivated when looking at no, the no, star no. or something no i like as you bol rahe hai no i feel uh, there's nothing like getting de demotivated on it like it happens uh, even we comment on some one else's feels and if you do not like it it's completely judged by other people but it doesn't um, 
अफेक्ट नहीं है तो ओके सो पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ लाइफ नेगेटिविटी एंड पॉजिटिविटी दैट्स व्हाट आई सो क्रिटिसिज्म यू यू टेक इट इन अ पॉजिटिव वे या या आई डोंट गिव मच अटेंशन लाइक डू यू रिमेंबर हाउ मेनी वीडियोस यू हैव बीन शूटिंग सिंस 2020 or you know or when did you start like which is which is the month you remember you started doing this yeah, i started in june it's one and half for i started it one and half year i mean one and half year ho gaya okay. me okay. starting a page okay. but before that it was a you had a normal... no i have two accounts okay. one is like a personal one, one. Uh, and this and this, this one is, is the your your content, content creation content. now since you're doing put in this your field lot of brands must be okay. approaching you yes i do get but any like you know a uh, bad uh, experience working with any any brand you see if you want to mention the brand's name that's your option but any bad in experience with a brand i just started uh, i haven't got any bad experience as yet like brand uh-huh. approach they told okay we give you brief you do this yeah, there are many who back off also they last for uh, how much do you charge or whatever and they are not okay they back off that is come any funny brand so i'll ask you any funny any funny experience working with a brand <laughs> no so oh, event when is shop or any any kuch kuch uh, you know kuch funny ho wahan pe okay yeah. so not uh, because of the brand but one uh, Once we were shooting at the Phoenix Mall, and I had taken the kid along because we thought let's take him also, and also you know enjoy and everything. Got little sleepy in the middle of it. I'm very cranky. You stop eating it right now. You keep that thing down. I want to go home right now. I want to sleep. And we had to leave it there only, and we had to rush home. What What is age? He's <laughs> three. डायलॉगेशन आई नो कभी मॉम आ जाती है डायलॉग छोटा आपने खुद का आके बोल रहे एंड वी नो वी हैड टू स्टॉप इट राइट देयर माय हस्बैंड वाज देयर वी हैड टू स्टॉप इट राइट वी हैड टू टेक हिम द फ्यूचर कंटेंट क्रिएटर्स यू आर यू आर मॉम और सो बी मॉम यू हैव अ वेरी गुड एडवाइस हियर यू सी व्हाट हैज हैपेंड सो यू नो पहले शूट कर रखना एंड देन दिस शुड नॉट हैपन व्हाट हैज हैपेंड विद हर So it's basically okay. It's funny. It's nice. It's like an experience. We take him to most of the places with us. Like you know, I don't want to be that kind of mom who keeps at home all the time and she knows. But that was very sweet. Yeah, yeah. No, we take him along most of the places. So he's there in the background, and we mostly shoot it quickly as soon as possible. We wind up and then we are home. But that's a very sweet experience that <laughs> yeah. I have. Now this question I have, I have, I ask to every guest that comes. I've asked to. previous to and this is a common question because i know everyone goes through you know a very dark phase or a very bad phase while doing this any bad phase you have gone through where you felt that like, nahi i wouldn't give up this so, so basically i i'm just doing it like a hobby no in even you're doing like hobby but still you very fell ki nahi i haven't thought about it uh, in that way and because That's i okay. was even if uh, you no know, for a period of time like a month or two i'm not shooting i'm okay with it okay now if i if i if i tell you that if you could go back in time and if you want to tell something to your 18 year old what advice would you a 20 year old i would just tell her don't worry so much I remember worrying a lot about all the silly things in life, and turns out it all falls into place. Mm-hmm. Tend to worry a lot about a lot of things: life, education, work, uh, family, love, marriage, etc., etc. But I thought it falls into place, and looking back, it wasn't that important to worry about all the small things in life. 
have a family you have food clothing shelter that is important because there are a lot of people in this world who do not have it right now and your life is really important like what you eat uh the way you breathe the way you uh move around everything is very very important because i see a lot of people struggling for life and then there are others who take life for granted so there are these two sides of the same coin things will fall into place everything will work out in the end i used to worry a lot about a lot of things in life and now if i look back i just you know think that i shouldn't have worried about the little thing life cut rahe ho raha hai your living that is the most important thing that you are healthy basically healthy you are healthy you have food clothing shelter because a lot of things went upside down during the lockdown so we realize what our priorities were and so looking back all those things that matter are these only your health came to know that uh, what are the main things to do in life during the lockdown yeah right pursuing your hobby your passion that was important looking after your health was important that is all that matters what advice will you give uh, to someone who wants to do like content creation like food blogging or you know lifestyle blogging yeah actually go for it it's an open ground these days and if you are having this good content you did not focus about are hey, aisa karna chahiye waisa karna chahiye just go for it i think the raw content these days are getting more views than are more in demand robbie yourself actually that not much of editing not much of you know these and that thing that come in we were speaking about uh, you know there are a lot of creators now right but don't you think a lot of people are copying each other's content yeah that's there because uh, see if you are visiting this food place okay it's not like only you are visiting it there are 10 other people visiting it uh, and they are having their own angle of shooting the same thing so what do you think what unique thing you are providing to or something which only you are giving to your audience through your i okay. what do you think like i don't think there's anything like that i think i see other people's videos also and i feel even their content is really good um uh, so i cannot really judge on that aspect that uh, my content is only good and i feel that my content is good. i do not feel anything like that someone is liking it they are liking it i might as well like someone else's same post about the same clip so i don't think there is a unique perspective it but like it it get shared there are views i think happens with it. do you think if tomorrow a very big brand comes to you and they tell you that you know we want to sign you as our you know uh, of like you know our ambassador or mm-hmm. our permanent content creator or a mentor like would you go for it <laughs> that looks like a very long dream But yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. You, any, any, not big brand, but any small brand. Yeah, brand. I'm. I have been working with small brands also. I uh, love working with women entrepreneurs as well. So if someone is approaching me, I say no to. Where did you like working the very most? Not, not in the food. I'm like food and lifestyle, but you travel, right? I I haven't. travel videos it because it's really difficult to shoot no but traveling to like if the place is far for the bombay yeah so i love a lot of restaurants so basically when i get invites if i feel i do not like that place i will not take the invite for it. i will not take up the promotion if i will just check out their reviews and i feel that it's really worth it then i'll go for it. Basically, it's not I for just doing it no no, no, no i just uh, yeah i get a lot of invites but then i'm really choosy about what i want to do even in wasai even places i'm really choosy so if i'm like no i'm not doing this i'm not doing it is there any video where your the, the kid is there in the video where he's also giving a support in the in yeah yeah he's there he's there in, at the background he's there Yeah, yeah. Okay, then I like if I find one, I'll put it here somewhere as well. Yes, sure. Has has he spoken something about the brand or something? Thing? No, no, no. no. He just being um uh, enjoying his uh, himself. I think on the slide or something he was there. So I was just shooting for this place, 
uh, and he was there on the slide. He was enjoying himself. So he's there. He knows what his mama is doing. Ah, yeah. So he's like, he knows by now. So when I get ready, mama, you can put up the makeup now. You can get your bag ready, and then we'll go. So he knows <coughs> what is the sequence. That's really interesting. To conclude this, I'm going to ask you. Now the content creation industry is growing very vast. A lot of content creations are mm-hmm. and creators are coming in the the market with a lot of unique ideas. What do you think about collaborations? Collaboration with different creators. What because what I have heard is people don't want to they don't some people don't like to collaborate they just want to do their own thing and other people also, like other people they like to collaborate what what do you think that does collaborating with other creators grows them or grows both people together it helps uh, both of them equally uh it uh, sometimes say for example if i am into food someone else is into fashion if we collaborate we get to know both of both worlds actually so it might be helping both of them in the past even i have worked with other bloggers uh, at the same pitch but we haven't collaborated on the post but we have been there shooting the same content and it was really nice to you know just know them what they are doing in their life what's going on you get to know so many things actually so yes it's a good idea you get to know basically it increases your knowledge creators should collaborate with other creators yeah it's a good thing yeah, it's right. a good thing to collaborate i know so many uh, Food bloggers in Vasai Virar now. So many of them are doing exceptionally well. And now Instagram has also included a uh, real bonus. Yeah, I do get it. You get it? Yeah. So I happened to ask many of my colleagues that did you get it? Did you get it? They are like no. So, so you got your first notes. official payment yes, from? Yes, yes, yes. So it was like uh, they had this lucky draw. They chose some uh, few. creators who are consistent are you happy consistent. getting getting yeah, paid yeah, now i'm very happy about it like okay <laughs> my final question what advice you're going to give to those people who want to do is not a full time but as a hobby you know they want to start it but they are scared they are not camera they are camera you conscious you want to do it uh, if you are confident about it you can do it full time also they may do I'm, it yeah they yeah, yeah, yeah i'm telling yeah. it to them only like If you are confident about it, do it full time. But you said you are you, you are camera conscious. Stuff. If they are camera conscious, how did you? So initially, I used to love clicking pics of myself a lot. So slowly, slowly, somewhere I thought it would be okay to be on the camera. Why not try and fail and then see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just thought about it and uh, I got a good response. So I did get a. I mean, I used to always feel that you know this is not my age. This is youngsters. the youngsters should be doing all these stuff but then i was getting a good response so i thought i might as well go so if you want to do content creation full time or a part time yeah. you know in hobby so for it you can shoot content anywhere on the road side in the restaurants in a very low area place or say uh, i mean low grade place also and a very five star place also that is content actually content is everywhere so Virul, thank you for coming thank to this episode. And uh, it was nice listening to your story, where you are a mother and you're doing on in creation with it, and you are also maybe maybe you are inspiring other other women who want to start doing on in creation who are mothers and you know. Just follow your passion, wherever whatever you are doing. So. Thank you for coming and for uh, me. giving your time. And I hope you know to like this. This was a small, small podcast. I feel, but a very sweet podcast because uh, I felt you know this was something unique. I felt this is a this guest where I have is someone who is not just doing content creation because she wants it, but she is having a responsibility, being a mother. and handling a family and also doing what she love as a hobby so something she spoke about and uh, thank you and uh, i will see you in my next episode very soon till then thank you goodbye